Following Pavlov's classical conditioning, human behaviors are triggered by particular stimuli. Similar to Pavlov's dogs, we find ourselves salivating when hungry and encountering delicious food. However, the American psychologist, B. F. Skinner, introduced a distinct perspective, suggesting that reflexive behavior only explains a fraction of all actions. And he formulated a theory of a different type of conditioning known as operant conditioning. So what does it mean? For Skinner, like all other animals, we interact with our surroundings even in the absence of any unconditioned stimuli, such as food. Skinner's theory primarily focused on the relation between behavior and its outcomes. So, when a behavior is promptly followed by enjoyable results, the individual is more likely to repeat that behavior. Employing pleasant and unpleasant consequences to modify behavior is commonly known as operant conditioning. Skinner gained widespread recognition for his development and use of the Skinner box, which is also known as an operant conditioning chamber. This device was designed to study the principles of operant conditioning and to analyze how different types of stimuli and consequences affect behavior. In the early Skinner box experiments, a rat was placed inside the box, which was equipped with a lever or a bar that the rat could press. Initially, the rat might accidentally press the lever and, as a result, receive a food pellet. Skinner observed that the rat would quickly learn to associate the action of pressing the bar with the reward of obtaining food. Consequently, the rat would continue to press the bar repeatedly, displaying an increase in this specific behavior. Skinner's experiments were not just limited to the reinforcement of desired behaviors. He was also interested in studying the impact of punishments on behavior by introducing punishments, such as mild electric shocks or loud noises, Skinner could observe how the rat's behavior was impacted. Skinner meticulously recorded the changes in behavior to understand how the presence or absence of reinforcement and punishment influenced the frequency and pattern of the rat's actions. Skinner's experiments with rats and pigeons laid the foundation for a comprehensive set of behavioral principles that have found reinforcement in numerous studies involving both humans and animals. At the core of behavioral learning theories lies a fundamental principle, behavior changes in response to its immediate consequence. Favorable consequences serve to reinforce behavior, while unfavorable consequences act to diminish it. Put simply, Favorable outcomes boost the likelihood of an individual's engagement in a specific behavior, while unfavorable outcomes curb the frequency of that behavior.